Hi, I'm Mr. Sonic Nevitz, and this is an unboxing and overview of the rest of my March pre-orders. Um, this box is actually, I don't know if you can see here, I got it like this, like this whole tape thing has totally been just snapped. So uh, hopefully it's not all damaged because uh, I'm going to raise some, some violence if there is. Holy crap. There is so much space, like right here. Like, oh, sorry. So, right here, there's like this massive gap of space, like this. Which is not good for stuff to be moving around in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, jeez. Well, here we go. It's, oh my gosh, this is packed so terribly. Like, this is amazing. Wow, that's actually okay. Um, let's see how I'm gonna... I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna put this stuff on the table, but... Let's do that. Wow. This is honestly kind of impressive how nothing is, like, damaged yet. This is some black magic. Okay, there we go. That corner's kind of hit. But the rest of it looks okay. Wow, this is this is freaky. Oh man. <laughs> what? This is so weird. I mean, I'm happy. This is so weird. Like, I guess it must have like this must have just recently popped this this uh, this uh, man. This one stayed up. This uh, bubble wrap right here must have like recently just popped. Cause holy crap, I'm not worried about this book right here, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. Dang, this is nutty. Okay, never mind. That's, yeah, I think that's it right there. Or it might just be the weird dust jacket. Or no, there's no dust jacket on these. So. Hmm. Oh, here we go. One's on the bottom. That's what I'm worried about. What in the, oh, this is just a packaging thing there. But other than that. That's so freaky. Uh, I'm gonna take all this, put it on the ground. That way I can. All right, here we go. Yatta. So there's my thing. Oh man. <laughs> I might have just hit that myself. Gosh darn it. I'm a genius. Okay. Oh, my back. So let's get this out of here first. Huh, they actually wrapped them. They didn't use like the, the other kind of thing. Anyways. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, duh. Put that right there. Okay, here we go. Now I'll check them out easier. Or not.
All right, we're good. We're good. Let's set that right over there. Let's grab this piece of cardboard. All right, so let's start with it's one of the trades. All right, so we have X-Men by Peter Milligan, Volume 2, which is X-Men Blood of Apocalypse. This is actually a nicely priced one because it's only $34.99. Marvel now, for something this small, would charge you like 40 40, 40 or $45. So yeah. So let's see who made this one. This is a Salisco book. They're still using Salisco. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's fine, but like, Salisco books have a real bad habit of like the, the cover like coming out, you know, and roll it, cover roll, where they roll over time. It's also why I put my stuff in like sleeves so it keeps it flat. Oh. Okay, next we have Superman Man of Steel hardcover volume 4. Funny enough, does not match the rest of it. Like, see, right? I don't know if you can see right here. Can you on the camera? I don't know. But the volume 1 is blue, volume 2 and 3 are red, and volume 4 is red. So they couldn't even bookend it with this being blue. So hey, maybe there's gonna be, I mean, the, another volume wouldn't even make sense unless they went like the Action Comics Weekly thing, because this lines up right with the Exiles omnibus, so I don't know what they're doing. Uh, let's open it. Uh, yeah, so, so far, like, nothing has appeared damaged, which is madness. Like, the other box I got that had the damage, so, like, last month, that had, like, the damaged stuff was packed, like, way better. So I don't even know how, like, maybe the UPS guy just decides to be, like, super nice th today. I don't know. Or they recognize my name. They're like, hey, this is the guy that gets really heavy stuff. Be careful. Ugh. So let's grab the dust jacket off. Ooh, I like that hardcover. So there you go. Two of those. And then let's... There's the nice dust jacket. Again, all it would take was that being blue and the set would look great. But hey, once I finish rereading Crisis, I can start on Action Comics, so that's cool. Because it's done, I have it all now. Oof. Let's see the paper. Yeah, nice paper too. That's the thing, like... For all the, the binding, whatever, with this, I do like the paper a lot. But yeah, glued, not doing anything crazy there. Thankfully, the way this is, it's the white bordered stuff, so. Ooh, except there you go. Real good example of gutter roll right there. That, uh, that pa this green panel right here is just eaten. All right. Let's set you aside. What's next? The Dare Best of Devils, which it should be right here. Volume 2 of the Chip Starsky run. Man, I think this is not br um, damaged, but it, it's going to have the same problem. If I think I know where the printer is. Just like, why would you do that on this run? It's really good. But no, can't have nice things. There we go. Kind of. That went in a circle. Oh, alright. Wants to work that way. It's in pieces. That's funny. Ugh. So there it is. Let's get the dust jacket off. Ha! Huh. So, funny printer thing. This was printed with the dust jacket inside the, and I think two pages in. That's funny. And same thing on this side. Uh, oh! Jeez. So this is hit on the bottom. 
which is actually not on the dust jacket at all. So this was hit before it was even like wrapped in that plastic. So this is not a shipping thing. And even up here too, it's not on the dust jacket. So hooray. And let me guess who made this. Cause I can really feel it. Wait, this is a Donnelly book? What? R.R. Donnelly? Cause like, I don't know if you can tell, but that's not flat on this top here. It's at an angle. You notice my fingers go in like slightly down. What in the heck? Jeez, Donnelly, what are you doing? In the whole, there's so much glue on this. Like I can just feel it opening this up. You can, I don't know if it's picking it up, but you can hear it too. This is a, binding wise, it's whatever. It's not awesome, but it is a small enough book that you shouldn't have too much trouble with it if there's a two page spread. I'm trying to find one, actually. But yeah, there's some gutter roll right there. It's eating into the art a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I do like that wraparound, and I love the material they picked for this, but man, that's uh, being off there is really annoying. Oh, doy, I never showed the... There you go. There's the dust jacket. The dust jacket's completely fine, so that's kind of annoying that that happened in printing, most likely. Let's set that aside. Next up we have... Fantastic Four Hickman Omnibus Volume 1 reprint. So, I'm surprised that it's as much as the initial volume and they didn't jack up the price. Oh, I heard the paper in this is pretty thin, so we'll see. I do love the Alan Davis cover, though, that I got the DM cover. It's really awesome. So, I already have Volume 2. I've had volume two for a while, I and mean, I got the complete collection, so if I do end up liking this, I'll replace them. Yep, I don't feel anything there. Oh, yep, this is this corner's hit right there. Through to the dust jacket. That's easily fixable though. So yep, there's the standard cover. DM side. They didn't change the. Oh, and then here's the full dust jacket. Yeah, and this is easily buffed out, so that's nothing too crazy there. Here we go, though. Who did. Who printed you? What the heck? Hmm, that's interesting. This is an IMAC book. Oh my gosh, this paper is so thin. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is very thin the paper. Yeah, you can. It's bleeding through like crazy. Dang, that's disappointing. Yeah, a lot of bleed through. Like, even on the, the darker panels. Man! Oh, yep. And then, there's the binding. Not great. There is a little a bit of an eye forming, but... Still not great. Hmm. Yeah. Oh man, like the bleed through so bad right here. I thought this was part of the art. And this is the, this is the um. The uh, paneling on the other side, like this white right here. So this this oh, this line of this white panel right here. I don't know if it's coming through, but you can see it on the in the middle of this fire. That's bad. Yeah. So when people say it's, I've heard reviews say. 
toilet paper, it's pretty close. That's... God, that's just annoying. We, yeah. Hoof. Hoof. So, I don't know if we'll keep this one. I do like the uniformity of the omnibus lining up, but who knows. All right. Ugh. Let's set that one aside. Uh, here we go. New Mutants Omnibus Volume 2. Uh, let's get you open. What sucks too is I've seen like photos of like the IMAC like warehouse like or the, the publishing warehouse where they make these books. It's not like rinky dink. It's really nice. So someone somewhere is giving the order to make the books pieces of crap. I mean, hey, I bought it, so they got me, I guess. But still annoying. Huh. Ooh. Oh wait, never mind. That just might be the. No, that's hit a little bit there. And that side is actually not hit at all. Huh. Odd. And yeah, that's all good. That's all good. So funny enough, this has an issue on it, like this corner here. Nothing to do with shipping. It was printed like inside the plastic, so it bent. Like the, uh, so like basically this, this dust jacket wasn't lined up correctly when they put the plastic on it, and this so it bends the dust jacket. So that's annoying. Oh, that's upside down too. So there you go. But, uh, that's just a production issue. Because, you know, it's just done by machine. Ugh. This feels like an IMAC book. Man, look at that, it is. And I actually, the reason I figured it was is right here. I don't know. I can just, like, see the glue. Ah, oh, man. And... Whoa, it's a, this is actually not as thin as the Fantastic Four book. Yeah, not nearly as thin. Or at least it doesn't feel as thin. Like a single page here. Feels a little bit thicker than the... Uh, still slight bleed through, but yeah, not as bad as the Fantastic Four Hickman Omnibus one. Let's get this all down. Well, <sighs> binding ain't super great, but <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, this is hit. I can even feel it with my thumb right there. But other than that, looks good. Again, paper not as awesome, binding not as awesome, IMAC, which is really annoying because there is a good IMAC book. My Wolverine omnibus I have on that side of the room over there, the volume two, really good. Like, I think I have a video on the channel. Like, it's really good. You can see it. So, I don't know what the frick is going on. I mean, even Donnelly, who made the Daredevil, like, they were the gold standard for a while. Oh, what am I doing? This goes over here. What's next? Oh, that, that's funny. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. This one I'm not going to open. Let me see if I can return it because um, I don't know if you've already have this and you've already opened it, but pages in, um, what is it? Tales to Astonish 100, I believe. The plates got flipped, so the colors are inverted or something like that. So basically Hulk is like red or orange for eight pages. So not awesome. Yeah. Also, like, what's really annoying is the, um, the Epic Collections are more, a little bit more comprehensive than this. So, yeah, I'm not even going to open it. I'm going to see if I can return it. Because, and then I've heard some people having issues with, like, missing signatures, which is basically missing, like, a portion of pages. So, I don't even want to open this. So, I'm going to see if I can return it. If not, I don't know what I'll do with it. But, let's set this aside. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I don't know. This is the Incredible Hulk Omnibus Volume 1 reprint. It's also incredibly thin compared to the original one because it's thinner paper, of course. 
All right. Oh, here's the one I'm worried about. Superman Batman Omnibus Volume 2. This is one I'm worried about in terms of damage, but we'll see. I don't see anything so far. And yeah, this is, finishes the whole modern series of Superman Batman. Oh ho! Oh yeah! So, I'll show you this. Books are not supposed to do this. See how I can move the cover like that? Not supposed to happen. Not just supposed to happen. The binding on this is broken or close to it. Nothing to do with the construction. This is from shipping. Ugh. Anyways. There you go. Really cool dust jacket. Matches the volume one really well. Let's look outside. Oh, jeez. Let's see. I'm guessing this is an intergold book. It is not. It's Salisco. Why? Why are you still using Salisco, DC? Gosh. Or wait. Okay, never mind. I keep missing up Salisco and Quad Graphics. So, Salisco is not that bad. So, you can ask what I said earlier. A little bit. They're still not great. But they're not as bad as Quad was. And I keep mixing that up. Oh, so yeah, if you want to, oh man, if you want a paper difference, this paper, for, uh, yeah, wow. That is some difference in paper compared to the Marvel books. This paper feels great. Only the binding matched. Hey, this binding is actually not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. You can. There's the eye coming up. Right there. Uh oh. Okay, what the. Oh, hey! <laughs> so I don't know if you can notice, there's no ribbon here. That doesn't mean anything. The ribbon's decorative on books. It's just funny how this one doesn't have one. <laughs> that is funny. Pretty funny, actually. I wonder if it fell off in shipping, but yeah. Ooh, that's some uh, gutter curve right there. But hey, luckily, like, again, this isn't, like, totally broken, the binding-wise. It just basically got jarred. So I just have to be careful with it. And this is also why I put the shoes on underneath. So now these pages are already gonna be weakening the spine, but with a shoe on it, it supports the whole thing. So much less impact over time. But there, oh yeah, I don't know if I showed the whoosh, 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 there you go. Really cool though. So it should be okay. I do have some omnibus that have that kind of loose spine, not loose, but they've been loosened from, you know, shipping. They're not totally damaged. Uh, oh, here we go. Captain America lives. Yeah. I think this is dented on the bottom, but I'm not entirely sure. And also, this is the run filled out, because I have it all at Omnibus. All of, um, Brubaker's run on Cap. Sorry for the yelling. It's my family upstairs. Here we go. Ha! Huh. That did not work. Ta-da! So here we go. Oh man, that is super hit on the bottom. I don't know if you can see there. Crap. I mean, I can buff that out with my thing, but that's still annoying for me. God. Man, I don't really want to go through the process of returning this. Yeah. And the up, up here is fine. And the corners are fine. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I get the better of myself. Like, again, if this was, like, way more expensive, then I would probably do it. But this is an IMAC book, of course. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Paper thin paper. Hmm. 
Hmm. Actually, that's weird. There's like not as much bleed through. That is odd, actually. Huh. Yeah, that is super weird. Maybe it's just because there's so much ink. Helps with the lacking of bleed through. Let's see if I can find a bright page. No, even this is, so this is a building on the background right here. And even then I don't really see the bleed through. So that's nice. Oh yeah, let's check the binding. Yep. Oh hey, perfect. I opened the splash page and there's Falcon's face getting eaten by the binding. So that's disappointing. Yeah, not much of a, an eye there. Again, that's also why I always keep a lookout on older printings of stuff. That way, if I ever, I can replace it with the newer one. So, we'll see. But I still like it. Alex Ross cover's great. I got the DM cover, though. I don't know. It's Cassidy. I like Cassidy. So, wait, wait, did I? I might have showed it. I don't think I showed this. There you go. All right, set that aside. This can move up. I don't even see that book. Huh. I'm actually missing something. Never mind. Get the trade paperback. That's I'm I'm dumb. Here we go. So this is um Philip Kennedy Johnson who did the um It's over there. What's its name? The Last God for DC. This is his action comics run. I'm really pissed it's not in hardcover. Like, but, and this is a Cilisco book. But yeah, this is basically like, I'm reading action comics again, since I stopped for the whole Bendis thing. And the reason I enjoy this is it has nothing to do with Superman on Earth, where it's still bad, so, it's still cool. Uh, let's put you right there. All right. Oh, here we go. Epic Collection Volume 4 Legacy is finished. That's really cool. Um, this is a Cilisco book as well. Man. Actually, to be fair, I am surprised that um, this is nicer. Yeah. This is nicer paper than the Imac, like omnibuses. That's funny. Maybe they should just have Cilisco make the omnibuses. Like... This one's awesome. It's the Superman Batman. Cilisco book. I mean, if Marvel will have them make trades, dude, make them make your omnibus instead of Imac if you're going to cheap out that much. But yeah. Volume 4 of Legacy. So the Legacy line in Star Wars Legends is finished. And actually, I was mapping it out. There's probably only, I think, six more epic collections. And then the entirety of Star Wars Dark Horse is collected, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, hey, so, um, I have, whoop, there we go, I have two Berserk Volume 10s, because these are not mine, they are for some friends, so I'm not going to open them, because they're not mine, but really cool looking, Volume 10 already, man, and also rest in peace, okay, what's next? Hey, this is actually, I saw on top of all that when I opened it. This is actually not damaged, which blows my mind. The Sonic IDW Collection Volume 2. Yeah, that was trippy how this is not damaged. Anyways, let's open this one. This is like really tight plastic, though. Come on. There we go. Got it. Yeah, tails on the cover. Looks really nice. I love the way IDW does these hardcovers. Yep, looks great. <laughs> I like that art on the back. Let's see who printed you. Also, I'm sad. I'm not sure if the series got canceled or anything because 
Uh, Pre-orders today went up for, for April, and uh, IDW did not have a single thing at all. So I wonder if they shuttered their comics division. Let's see who printed you. What the heck? Printed in Korea. That's all it says. Hey, what the heck? Was that Emmer? No way. That's funny. God, I wish the Archie continuity was still around. That's actually what got me into comic books. If they had collections of those, I would totally buy them. But they do not. Uh, binding so so. This really stiff, doesn't want to come up. Still good though. I yeah, I love the IDW collections. Because I don't know if or yeah. So as I said, I I have Sonic and then I also have TMNT. Um put that right there. And then the last thing. Fantastic Four, Epic, Nobody Gets Out Alive, Volume 23, this is $45, yep, that's, this is the first one where, not the, not the first one, but this is the, they started up in the price on their Epics, it's a Silisco book, yeah, oh, never mind, oh, I thought that was, yeah, this is actually thinner paper than this, the Legacy one I just had. Not actually the bleed, there's not very much bleed through. Surprising enough. Wait, what the heck? Yeah. Paper is thin though. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so like this really bright page, I don't see any bleed through to the next page, so that's pretty nice. Man, this totally feels like the 90s, though, just looking at the art. Yeah, nice, though. I mean, it sucks the increase in price when the quality, honestly, has gone down. Uh, and then the last thing, which, again, I cannot open, is, because it's not mine, Lobster Johnson, Omnibus. This was actually really nice for my buddy who got this, or who wanted me to get this. Because the, the tr this has the three trade paperbacks. I think there's going to be a second omnibus with the other three. Because the Lobster Dawson had six total. And four of them are really hard to find. So that's really nice. So it's all good for him there. So yeah. Oh, oh what? How did I miss this? This should have gone before Sonic. Batman. Tinyans Run. Volume 5. And actually, funny enough, I just ordered Volume 6. Joshua Williamson's Run. Starting. This is Fear State. I didn't get the hardcover because there are writers in that who write some of the Secret Files issues who I despise. So. Whew. All right. This is probably... Let's take a guess. Ooh, that is a really cool image they picked for the hardcover, though. This is also really thin. Ooh, that glue. Oh yeah, Jorge Menes. That's actually why I didn't like, I'm still getting the, I got all the tiny books because of the art. Jorge Menes is awesome. Hey, this is a Interglobe book. I was right. Let's see if I can open this though. It wants to open just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, binding again. Interglobe doesn't do the best on their standard size hardcovers. So, there you go. But, yeah, it's alright. And then, of course, the what I do love is they've kept consistent with the dust jackets. They look really nice. So, let's set this aside. Oh, and sit down. And so, yep, that has been my March pre-orders. And I just submitted April's, so... See you in a month. Thanks for watching.